So, the electric is at the back. There. And the electric is at the front here. And it doesn't reach. Morning, guys good morning I'm not awake yet <laughs> we're the two alpacas I'm Lara and I'm Martin and it's moving weekend moving weekend so we got a lot of stuff we got to get done today to get ready for tomorrow and we are excited because we're moving to where Edgar Evans State Park it's a state park in Tennessee yeah. So we got a lot to do. We're moving tomorrow. Did you say that already? I said it already. Maybe you're not awake yet. Maybe I'm not awake yet. So come along with us. So to start with, Martin's relaxing. I'm waking up. There's a difference. Yeah, sure. It's empty. Oh no. Oh no. I've got to get some coffee. More coffee. Because I only had like this much coffee. That was what was left over yesterday oh no but i think i'm gonna go get breakfast grab some coffee and start the day so i'm headed out to get some breakfast this morning i just want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that we've got to get done today uh we've got to transport some vehicles to some other locations because i'm not so sure how great the parking in our new campsite is going to be it's pretty tight over there um so we may relocate some vehicles um we got to take the bicycles over to Lara's mama's house because the campground that we're staying at is all full of hills and there's no way that we're going to want to ride bikes up and down these mountain hills so um, we're not even going to want to have them there so we're going to take those over to her mama's house uh, we got to drop the laundry off and clean up the camper a little bit and then tomorrow morning when we wake up we'll, we'll have everything ready to uh, unhook and hitch up to the truck so, we we'll get back with some breakfast and then we'll get started on all that stuff. So, I'm headed up to the camp store for the campground rat right now and see how late we can check out. Alright, so one of the, my favorite things about doing laundry is we've got this soft sided case that we put under our cabinet, but we have this blue Ikea bag that we take it to the laundromat and it fits perfectly over that. You flip it over, boom, done. Bike loaded, one more bike to go. I think somebody put some green slime in my tires at one point. Because this back tire's got green stuff coming out of it. Hmm. Right at the right at the valve. Just some green stuff. So he's gonna go take laundry 
and I'm gonna meet him at his office where he's gonna leave his car. There's Mama's to drop off the bicycles and she's going to keep them for a couple of weeks because there's really nowhere for us to ride over there at the campground anyway. Uh, we dropped off my work car at work so we don't have that extra car with us for the weekend and we'll come back later and get it. Uh, just got some fuel and yeah. awkward pause. <laughs> Yeah, so we we're not our next campground's not that far, so we didn't fill the tank up because gas prices are crazy high right now, and we're not going to be driving the truck for the next couple of weeks after that. So we didn't want to just put a bunch of gas or diesel in here that we're not going to be using. So, and the Rover's already got gas in it, so we should be good good with that. So. Filter. Water filter. Some fuel injector cleaner. Yeah. Mouthwash. Mouthwash, not what I wanted. And they were out of our toilet paper. <sighs> Guess we're not gonna have to we're not gonna poop. Well, we're gonna have to get some at the other Walmart. Or we're gonna have to have a specialty paper. And that'll suck. Or just use the bathhouse all the time. No. Not gonna happen. We like pooping at home. Yeah. <laughs> So out of all of the toilet paper that we could use, there's only one that's septic, good for our septic tank in our RV. And Walmart had, at the other Walmart, they didn't have any. And at this Walmart, could you believe it? They had one package. One package. So we got our toilet paper. And a few other things. Yeah, we had to um, take a small break. I got a little queasy feeling. Some of my medicine makes me a little queasy, so every now and then I have to take a break. Martin ran into Gabe's. Did you find anything in Gabe's? Nah. Uh, well, I found a pair of shorts that didn't fit me, but they were a nice pair of shorts. High dollar shorts. High quality. There's a place that we have in town called Lazy Cow. You've probably seen us go there before. It's an ice cream shop. It's an ice cream place. Uh, Lazy Cow Creamery. And um, 
lately they've not had my favorite flavor of ice cream. Um, but I was with my sister Lindsay and she said that they had dark chocolate the other day. And I just checked their website and they have dark chocolate. Oh my gosh. So guess where we're going? We're going over to Lazy Cow. Martin's going to run in and get me some ice cream. I'll go in. She gets the ice cream. He doesn't want any ice cream. I don't want any ice cream. with a trailer with a four-wheeler on it and it fell off to the trailer so that, and guy, so that guy is not the owner he uh he was just in the bank parking lot and he was gonna try to get it out of the road and he only had one arm well he, I mean, he had another arm but he couldn't use it it wasn't good yeah, so he, pulled up. he could only he could only use one arm so i jumped out and helped it and then some girl got out and saw us pushing it so she came and helped too so we all chipped in, we put it in the parking spot, and that guy's gonna call the police so that uh, they at least know it's here. I don't know if they're gonna come pick it up or if the other person's gonna come back and get it. Hopefully they realize it's caught off their trailer before before, before they, they get, get all the way far. home or before they get too far away. Who knows, they might live in Cincinnati, Ohio. I don't know, I don't know where they live. I didn't even see it happen. I just helped get the, get the four-wheeler off the road. So, good deed done for the day, check. Now for ice cream. Ice cream. Oh yeah. Dark chocolate ice cream. And the people that lost a four-wheeler over there trying to get it on the trailer, I may go help them because it's an old couple and it doesn't look like they're doing very good. All right, so the four-wheeler has been recovered by the rightful owners. It was an older couple and they just bought it. And uh, they got over to the restaurant and she turned around to her husband and said, you're not going to believe this, but the uh, four-wheeler's gone. <laughs> but that was an awful feeling. That was an awful feeling. So they said they was praying all the way back over here, Lord, please don't let nobody take our our four-wheeler four that we just bought. So, yeah. so me and that other guy pushed it into a parking lot. And so um, I had to drive it up on the trailer because she didn't know what to do. And he had shoulder, shoulder surgery, so he couldn't do it. So good thing I came back over here and then yeah. I helped them strap it down real good. It's not going anywhere this time. If it falls off the trailer, they got bigger problems. Yeah. Like they lost their trailer. Yeah. Yeah, so. And that guy says, I've never lost a load in my life. I said, well, there's a first for everything. <laughs> Which is true, you know. Yeah. Accidents happen and a couple of nice people were available to help get them back going. I'm one of the nice people. Sure. By the way, in case you didn't notice. All right, good deed number two. Check. I gotta do one more, I think. Right? I don't know. I just filmed. All right. I well, was I wasn't very useful. So we got the we got the, we got everything loaded back up. How's your chocolate ice cream, by the way? It's really good. So it was a good thing we came over and got ice cream. We were able to help. That was my good people. deed. Your I good asked deed. for you ice cream. You asked for ice cream, so you brought us over there. <laughs> 
was a divine destiny. Yeah, something like that. So we're heading back to the campground. Um, a friend of mine is going to buy our Blackstone grill, our big one. We've got a we've got a little 17 inch one that's portable, and we've got a 36 inch one that's just way too big. Um, I got that from somebody we knew. I restored the top on it, and it's just. It's, it's a really nice grill, but it's so big for hauling around in the camper and the, in the back of the truck. It's, it's just really heavy and big. So um, a friend of ours is going to buy it from us, and then we're going to go buy a smaller one. It's like a 28-inch. That would be a perfect size, I think. Um, it's bigger than our 17, but... It's the Goldilocks one. The Goldilocks one. Just right. Uh, we'll probably still keep our 17-inch. Maybe I don't know. It depends on how easy the 28 inches is to haul around. If it's easy enough... Yeah, I was no reason say. to keep the 17. So, um, I think the 28 inch is going to be perfect. All right, my friend's here. My friend Brian's here. He's going to pick up uh, the Blackstone today. So, hopefully, he's enjoyed it as much as we will. All right, so we got the Blackstone 36 inch grill sold to my friend Brian, and I am on my way to. Walmart to look at their selection of the 28 inches. I think that's going to be the Goldilocks of grills. Just right. We Not only is it heavy, it's awkward. And the box broke on me putting it in the truck, so the handles were broken. See? And I got a cover for it because, well, you want to keep the rain off the iron. did not have intentions of selling our 36 inch Blackstone and picking up a 28 inch Blackstone. But here we are, after three trips to Walmart, we got a new griddle. And it's gonna be the perfect size for us. It's not too big, it's not too small, but there it is. So it's the next day. Good morning, by the way. Rude. Wish everybody a good morning. You're supposed to, I think. Well, it may not be good morning where they're at. It's our good morning, though. So it's the next day. Next day. It's moving day. Yeah. We're moving. We are moving. We're changing sceneries. We're changing our front yard. And we got a lot of stuff to do and some time to do it. We do. We're not too rushed. No, we're good. So I've got some of the dishes washed. I'm letting them dry because moisture is an enemy of an RV. And I'm going to drink a little more coffee. We've got the bed made. And we're going to start putting some things on the bed that we travel with. And then we start battening everything down and making sure everything's kind of tidied up, put away, so nothing jiggles and wiggles when we move. So we have to make sure all the stuff that we normally set on the counters is off the counters. Except for the stuff that is... Um, put down by a museum putty that stuff can stay but everything else has to go up here so that it doesn't end up in the floor
see how red that is. That's why it's clogged up. It's rut. So I've got the water hose hooked up to our flush system and inside of our black tank there's jets that spin around and flush all the sediments out and flush it to the bottom but right now I'm just getting it moving so when I pull that lever everything will go down the tube and our next campsite that we're going to does not have um, septic hookup so I want this as clean as possible. So you're organizing the pass through a little bit? Yeah, when you stay in one place for a little while, stuff comes out, goes back in, stuff comes out, goes back in, and it just kind of gets disorganized. So right before we move the camper, it's always a good idea to pull it out, resort it, put it back in there so it looks good, ride safe, and it, everything's easy to find. It's not worth keeping you on, so stop, take a break, eat a little something. We're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Penny? She's like, I'm glad you came back in. How are you? He's back there. So we are all packed up and ready to go. We are ready to roll out. It's hot. It's humid and hot today. Yeah. But that's okay. It's part of the part of the experience. So something popped, so we're just stopped to check it out. I don't know. <laughs> no, everything's good. I think it was just the uh, weight distribution system settling in, getting ready for the ride.
so the electric is at the back there and the electric is at the front here and it doesn't reach so we're gonna have to pull up as you can see we're already there so, so we are here we made it we made it to Edgar Evans State Park it was a tight squeeze to get the camper in, but we're in. But we're here. It's part of the adventure, isn't it? <laughs> so don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to share as well. If you enjoyed this video, maybe somebody else will as well. And until next time, with the two alpagas, peace.